now we'll design our beam with respect to our previous uh, calculated and analyzing data uh, you know from our previous lecture we found it now i'll uh, open our excel file from design excel file and here our beam design beam design as per sa 31808 okay done here a excel sheet by using that excel sheet we are able to design a slab very easily sorry a beam very easily now first of all i'll go for properties now we have to provide here the value of f prime c so uh, as we have calculated our all data in fps unit i mean foot pound feet like that but here our value is in f prime c so we have considered our f prime c like 35 100 so our total value in uh, mega pass, uh, pascal it will be 42 point on 3 let's say 42 sorry 24 24 and uh, fy fy 500 mega pascal it's okay and fys it's also same okay click okay see this value are automatically changing and if this option are not working for you you are able to provide this value here manually then geometry beam length so what will be the beam length i'll consider the uh, longer span here so what was our longer span you know 15.667 and we need that value in feet so i'll divide by i'll divide it by 3.28 to make it in meter 4.776 let's say 4.78 4.78 okay then beam width so our beam width was 10 10 into 25 so 250 and 15 into 25 depth beam height or depth was 375 cover clear cover that's 1.5 inch 1.5 into 25 it's 37.5 so it's uh 40 40 40 it's okay let's click okay done now loading first of all we'll provide loading because it's fixed and in later we'll provide reinforcement so uh, see here factor bending moment ultimate moment or already we have calculated for left span so uh, our moment what was our maximum moment as per previous lecture sorry I have to take it here this is the maximum value this is this value is in key fit okay this value is in key fit so we need that value in kilonewton meter so i'll convert it using google here you are able to use that website so i'm providing here the value 29 point first of all i will uh, actually which moment we need we need for left support and right support so i'll uh, go for for um, negative moment we will get the maximum moment for negative i mean for support negative moment for support so 45.35 45.35 this 61.4863 so I'm go to excel paste it here now for middle actually uh they'll be same but if 
in your case it's different you are also allowed to use it different so our maximum positive moment is 29.15 that means moment for mid span 29.15 39 and something paste it here now factor share okay so what will be the factor share will provide the value of share so our value of share is also in kips so we need to uh, we need here value in kilonewton kips to kilonewton i'll again go for another um, conversion for uh, keep to kilonewtons so here keep to kilonewton our maximum share was 13 point seven on let's convert it 60.98 that means 61 61 in that side 61 in that side so uh, as we are manual designing we are not going to calculate our torsion or torsional value but definitely our beam will face torsion because if we go to our floor plan c they, they have a cantilever portion and as it will try to move downward our beam will try to uh, i mean our beam will observe torsion so let's say uh, I, I'm, I'm considering little torsion for it as we're not able to calculate it right now uh, um, so here let's see 11 point something 11 point something it's okay then click okay and also if your beam are beam have axial load then also you are able to provide it here you click okay so now everything is okay now I'll see for a uh, two portion it's are uh, not okay i'll uh, go here for reinforcement so as it is a, a small structure for layer 2 i'll provide i'll i'll not provide any reinforcement so for our top bar uh, mid span top bar and mid uh, right support top bar and here is the bottom bar okay so um, i'll uh, provide 216 mm bar 216 mm bar 216 mm bar and for bottom also i'll provide 216 mm bar 216 mm bar and 216 mm bar clear and uh, here a spacing between two layer if we have a uh, double layer if you provide here another layer as a second layer like that here's the second layer so layer space so what will be the layer space uh, minimum 25 inch minimum 25 inch okay sorry 25 mm minimum it's done and also it's done for bottom if you have any uh, more layer actually the up, uh, actually i mean if you want to use second layer here also you are able to provide your value i am providing zero because i am not going to use second layer as it is a simple structure okay so when i have provided reinforcement here see uh, it's uh, giving us failed it's giving us the failing pouring because our mu is 61 point something and the moment here we are getting 55.6 on for and for mid span it's okay for mid span our moment is 39.52 39.52 but our uh, develop moment is 55.61 so what we have to do we have to increase the number of beam for left and right support i'll go for actually you are also able to provide it here okay so for uh, top left support and top actually where it's failing first of all we have to see it left support in left support is failing okay so i'll click here 
let's say number of three bar if we provide three bar to a state bar and on extra top let's say three bar in top and bottom for bottom everywhere in bottom let's ignore it okay now see it's passing perfectly we need 61.84 but our developed uh, is 81 it's more than the required clear so it's done now what we'll do we'll go for the next step next step is our stir up spacing so here we are providing four leg leg four leg 10 mm is stir up in 20 inch so i'll not going to use that i'm uh, going to two leg stir up like that and let's say what happened and hoops that is the value of moment so what we need here our uh, s max maximum spacing is 163 but we have provided 200 mm that means 8 inch so i'll provide here 150 see this is okay this is okay for our share also now if we go for torsion our torsion 80 required 0 0.005 80 provided 64.65 mm square actually uh, if we go here number of instead of zero uh, okay cancel it actually you may ignore it this is the value for hopes and we are not going to provide any hoops for our beam at this time so i think our design is okay because uh, here we have we have provided the more value more than the required okay more than the required actually so uh, this value have been provided for uh, our street up so nothing to do here actually and uh, if we go for 200 then it's also not okay okay let's say 150 so what is the final design proceed uh, design we have to provide 216 mm reinforcement as a state bar for top and bottom then we have to provide one extra top in support left and right support 16 mm bar and we will provide east up for six inches, sorry, uh, yes, six inches bar or uh, 115 millimeter bar uh, spacing for 10 mm bar with two leg. What is the meaning of two leg? This is the two leg actually. If we cut it here, you will see two face. That means it's two leg. So this is this was our uh, actual design procedure, and I think it's okay so uh, i hope now you'll be able to and if you need to print it control p you'll get the printed value here okay you'll get total printed value here so that was the design procedure of our beam now see how easily you are able to design a beam perfectly so thank you thank you very much